In today's video, we're diving into the six vitamins that your cardiovascular system craves. Key ingredients to help your body unclog arteries and keep them young and healthy. Make sure you pay close attention to our top two vitamins and ask your doctor about them too, as most people are dangerously low in them and don't know it, which can be a leading cause of blocked arteries and heart attacks. We'll also cover specific foods to make sure you're getting the full range of vitamins and some important minerals too, such as a favorite treat that's surprisingly high in magnesium, a superstar vegetable that can be used to boost energy and reduce muscle soreness, and more. Plus, stick around until the end as we've got two free gifts that will help you fight heart disease naturally. And remember to click the thumbs up and subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. Clogged arteries, medically known as atherosclerosis, happens when fatty deposits build up inside the artery. According to NIH data, disease linked to atherosclerosis is the leading cause of death in the United States. This is all because of damage that silently builds over years, causing arteries to become narrow and stiff, making it harder for blood to flow triggering heart attack and stroke. So our first amazing vitamin is magnesium. Magnesium keeps our arteries relaxed and flexible. Why is this important? It's like yoga for the arteries, because when arteries are relaxed and flexible, they're not stiff and brittle. They're able to resist potential damage, damage which comes from inflammatory foods like sugar, refined grains, and toxic oils. Imagine our arteries as an intricate network of water pipes. In their prime, these pipes are smooth, allowing water to glide seamlessly. However, when we consistently eat inflammatory foods, it's akin to filling those pipes with gritty sand and debris. Over time, this damages the pipes. It's like plastic guttering that cracks due to freezing temperatures or extreme sunlight. Flexible and smooth arteries are crucial. They ensure that blood flows without hindrance, regulating blood pressure, and in turn, preventing undue stress on the heart muscle. Leafy greens such as spinach, kale, and Swiss chard are packed with magnesium. Nuts and seeds like almonds and pumpkin seeds also contain high amounts. And for those with a sweet tooth, embrace dark chocolate. Plus, its flavonoids promote heart health and combat inflammation. For the best health benefits, choose options with at least 75% cocoa and minimal added sugar. What about a healthier alternative instead of rice? Introducing quinoa. While it's consumed like grains, quinoa is technically a seed, giving it unique attributes that set it apart. Quinoa is considered a complete protein source meaning it contains all nine essential amino acids that the body cannot produce on its own. It also has a higher fiber content compared to other grains, which is key for digestion, stabilizing blood sugar levels, and helping to feel satisfied without overeating. Plus, it contains the minerals iron, phosphorus, and zinc, as well as anti-inflammatory compounds quercetin and camphorol. Flexible arteries are so important for aging well, and magnesium-rich foods like quinoa and dark chocolate help to keep them that way. Soon, we'll reveal another vitamin that works synergistically with magnesium. But first, let's look at an important antioxidant that protects arteries. That's right, we're talking about vitamin E, the master when it comes to battling free radicals. Think of free radicals as the mischievous thugs that roam your body, causing chaos and damage. Free radicals are caused by various factors, from the foods we may consume, to stress, pollution, and other toxins that make their way into our bodies. Free radicals wreak havoc at a cell level. They damage or oxidize LDL cholesterol particles. And oxidized LDL is the nemesis of heart health leading to artery damage, plaque formation, and ultimately, heart disease. And like most problems, they are largely caused by sugar, 
refined grains, and toxic oils, as well as other factors. But by neutralizing free radicals before they get a chance to cause damage, vitamin E plays a protective role, like a bodyguard always standing watch. Almonds, sunflower seeds, and hazelnuts are rich in vitamin E. Olive oil is a great source and also contains the beneficial compound oleic acid. And leafy greens like spinach, broccoli, and turnip greens are all excellent vitamin E foods. Have you ever tried raw broccoli? Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cabbage are considered some of the best foods for artery health. Part of the reason is that they contain a unique compound called sulforaphane, which has powerful cardioprotective effects. But why eat it raw? Because sulforaphane is activated when cruciferous vegetables are chewed or chopped, when the surface is broken. A 2008 study found that eating raw broccoli leads to 10 times greater absorption of sulforaphane compared to when it's cooked. Raw broccoli goes well with hummus as an afternoon snack, or as a simple, fast, and very functional mini lunch. Are you finding this video useful so far? If so, please click the thumbs up button to help more people find these tips. And if you know of any heart healthy foods, please leave a comment below to help the community. Okay, next we have potassium. Remember our previous analogy of arteries being like water pipes that can become stiff, brittle, and damaged? Well, think of high blood pressure as a forceful torrent that crashes into those pipes. Persistent high blood pressure can exert excessive force against the arterial walls, causing tiny tears or damage to the endothelium. This damage can serve as focal points for plaque buildup. But here's where potassium steps in acting like a regulator on the tap, ensuring that blood pressure remains steady. One of the culprits behind elevated blood pressure is excess sodium, which makes up around 40% of salt. Maybe you've been told to cut down on salt. That's because sodium makes the body hold onto water, thereby increasing the volume of blood flowing through our bodies, increasing blood pressure and the risk of artery damage. With potassium's intervention, excess sodium is swiftly eliminated from our bodies, reducing the potential for these problems. Bananas are a great option for potassium, as well as spinach, sweet potatoes, beans, beetroot, and apricots. Research shows that beetroot is particularly effective for healthy blood flow and blood pressure, as well as increasing exercise performance and recovery. A number of studies have revealed significant benefits for people who consume beetroot before exercise. Now, there's one more superstar fruit that's rich in not only potassium, but also vitamin E and magnesium too. Can you guess? That's right, avocados are packed with nutrients that protect your arteries. Plus, they're low in carbohydrate and rich in healthy monounsaturated fat which are known to reduce inflammation and heart disease risk. Plus, the healthy fats in avocados support the skin, keeping it moisturized and resilient, making avocado an all-round excellent food for a healthy, strong, and resilient body. However, while we herald potassium's importance, it's essential to acknowledge that there's no one-size-fits-all approach. If you have a condition like kidney disease, or are on medication, especially for blood pressure, then you need to be mindful. Always remember, the key lies in balance. And if these are a problem for you, consult with a specialist who knows your situation before dramatically increasing your potassium intake. Next up, we have the B vitamin family, which are incredibly important and an area where people are often deficient, especially if you're vegetarian. Vitamin B12 tops the list. It's found in meat, fish, shellfish, dairy products, and eggs. For vegetarians or vegans, getting sufficient B12 can be a challenge because plants don't produce it. For these people, fortified foods or supplements can help. That said, mushrooms can contain a little B12, as well as tempeh and nutritional yeast. 
Some research suggests that algae, like chlorella, have active B12. However, there's debate regarding its bioavailability and efficiency. B12 is vital because it helps in the formation of red blood cells, supports our nervous system, and importantly, it assists in regulating homocysteine levels. High levels of homocysteine are a risk factor for heart disease. Vitamin B12 deficiency can also lead to fatigue, anemia, and serious nerve damage. Okay, so that's B12, super important. For the rest of the family, we have B6 and B9. B6 can be found in poultry, fish, vegetables, and fruits. On the other hand, B9, also known as folate, is abundant in leafy greens, beans, citrus fruits, lentils, chickpeas, asparagus, avocado, and broccoli. Folate is extremely important during pregnancy. Deficiency during pregnancy can lead to neural tube defects, serious conditions affecting the brain and spine of the fetus. As a result, many countries fortify foods like bread with folic acid. Both B6 and B9 also help to reduce homocysteine levels in the blood. Which is important, because, again, high homocysteine is linked to artery damage and atherosclerosis. But fortunately, B12, B6, and B9 deliver a knockout combo. Before we get to our top two vitamins, Heart Disease Code would love to give you a free book, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol, plus the first episode of The Untold Story of Heart Disease something that everyone concerned about heart health should watch. Click the link in the description below to claim these free gifts. Okay, let's get back to the video. Next up, we have a less common vitamin, which becomes more and more important as we age. Vitamin K. There are two forms of vitamin K, vitamin K1 and K2. Vitamin K2 is the one that's extremely impactful when it comes to artery health, K2 essentially acts like a traffic controller, directing calcium to where it's needed in the body, the bones and teeth. Prevent osteoporosis and age-related fractures by building strong bones. In the same stroke, this process stops calcium from settling in the arteries, protecting against arterial calcification. Also known as menaquinone, vitamin K2 is somewhat elusive. For this reason, some people opt for K2 supplementation. However, it is possible to get K2 through certain foods, like liver, dark chicken meat, ground beef, eggs from pasture-raised chickens with access to a natural diet, grass-fed butter, and cheese. Scientific studies show that hard cheeses like Gouda, Edam, and Munster have higher K2 levels than softer cheeses and that older cheeses have more than younger cheeses, due to longer fermentation. You could say that good things take time. Speaking of fermented, you may have noticed the fermentation craze with foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, and natto. That's because fermented foods promote healthy bacteria in the gut, which is important for the heart, and they also happen to be a great source of vitamin K. Natto is particularly interesting, coming in at over 200 times as much K2 as sauerkraut in one study. Natto is a traditional Japanese food made from soybeans. It's like tofu, but the soybeans have been fermented, supercharging their health benefits and giving it a distinct flavor. As well as its vitamin K and probiotic benefits, Natto contains a special enzyme called Nattokinase which may protect against excessive clotting associated with deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, and stroke. So whether it's from animal-based or fermented foods, it's important to think about the vitamin K2 category. And last but not least, we have vitamin D. The sunshine vitamin is unique. Unlike other vitamins, the body produces it when exposed to sunlight our own little photosynthesis like the plants. Vitamin D is crucial for calcium absorption in the gut. Without adequate vitamin D, 
even if you're consuming enough calcium, your body won't be able to absorb it effectively. Calcium absorption is why vitamin D is known to be the vitamin for strong bones. But vitamin D impacts many areas of your health. It plays a role in immune function, reduces inflammation, and protects the heart in a number of ways. Now, you might be thinking, hold on, I thought you said vitamin K2 was the calcium vitamin. That's right, vitamin D and K2 work together. While vitamin D ensures we absorb enough calcium, vitamin K2 ensures it gets to the right places. Vitamin D also works synergistically with magnesium to enhance calcium processes. While the sun remains our most potent source of vitamin D, supplements and food can also play a role. However, it's wise to be cautious with vitamin D supplementation. A major study from Johns Hopkins University suggests that over-supplementation can actually have the opposite effect of what we want, potentially stirring up inflammation, stiffening arteries, and increasing heart disease risks. Some studies have shown benefits from supplementation, but they were for people who were extremely deficient. So, if you're considering vitamin D supplementation, be sure you understand what you're doing and whether it's right for you. Now, certain foods do contain some vitamin D, including fatty fish like salmon, tuna, and mackerel, liver, eggs, and mushrooms. But the truth is that food sources are generally not enough. According to the journal Nutritional Epidemiology, an estimated 15% of the global population is deficient, especially in colder countries. But for the rest of the world, nature has provided us with an abundant, free supply, which even comes with some bonuses. When our skin bathes in real sunlight, it produces a special kind of vitamin D, called vitamin D3 sulfate. Research suggests that vitamin D3 sulfate may fortify the glycocalyx layer, a gel-like shield that protects blood cells against high blood sugar damage. Of course, balance is key. While you may consider short but regular sun exposure, especially on the chest or back, on the other hand, it's crucial not to burn. And here's a pro tip. After eating a salad, you might like to bask in a little sunshine. A fascinating paper published in the journal Photochemistry and Photobiology suggests that when chlorophyll from salad meets sunlight, it aids in regenerating coenzyme Q10, a potent antioxidant linked with heart disease prevention. And of course, these vitamins aren't a panacea. Cutting back on toxic foods is vital for cleaning up your arteries. Exercise is going to help, as well as the fundamentals we discussed in our other videos. We hope you found this useful. Like this video and subscribe for more in the future. Leave your comments, questions, or tips for the community. And remember to get your two free gifts, the surprising truth about fat and cholesterol, and the first episode of the untold story of heart disease. Just click the link in the description below to get them now.